For this video, we're going to look at the sounds of the triad types that we've been using and try and figure out a method of what to listen for. Major triads are very often described as happy. And this sense of happiness actually comes from the physics of the notes themselves, that any root note actually generates some harmonics within it. And they incorporate other root notes higher up the scales, a fifth, and then a third, and then another fifth, and then at the, right at the top, there's a little scale so the reason why a major chord sounds very happy is because it is very stable. The notes that are being created are agreeing with the natural harmonic series that the root note creates. Minors are almost as stable, very, very stable chords. They're also described as being sad sounding, and it's just been that way. They've been associated with sad songs for so long that it's just become a thing, an association uh, that can't really be rationally explained. It's just a convention. Now, when we add susses, dims, and orgs, we add what we call tension. And this gets back to that harmonic series idea I was telling you about with the major. We're going to create some notes in the triad which are clashing with the natural harmonic series created by the root note of that triad. The uh, most gentle clash will be the sus chord. So here's our sus. And let's have a listen to what the chord wants to do. If we create tension, we actually are creating a need for resolution of that tension. So a sus, its middle note, like anything that rises, wants to obey gravity and then fall, either to a major triad or to a minor. The fourth is the middle note minor third, perhaps then to the second is the middle note, creating a sus2 chord. Hear how that middle note wants to resolve. If it goes down, it wants to then resolve back up. So susses want to resolve their middle note downwards, either to the major or to the minor. Let's have a look at an org chord. Now the word augmented starts with the same sound as the word awkward. And we can think of org chords as being awkward chords. How does it want to resolve? Well, the top note wants to go somewhere, but it's undecided where it wants to go. Have a listen, I could resolve it up. Or I could resolve it down. So org chords are just awkward because the top note doesn't quite know whether it wants to resolve up or down, and it could resolve either way. Now let's look at a dim chord. I'll take C dim. Have a listen to how it wants to resolve. The top note wants to go down by a step of one on the clock. And the middle note wants to resolve down as well. Let's try another dim. Let's go A dim. So the top note wanted to resolve down by a step of one. The middle note wanted to go down a step of two. And the bottom note goes down by the interval of a major third. 
so we can think of diminished chords as sounding unfinished. And they want to resolve both their middle note and their top note, and both of them resolve by falling. So just to recap, a sus chord just wants its middle note to go down, either to a major or to a minor. An org chord is awkward, and the top note alone wants to go up or down by a step of one. And a dim chord, diminished, is unfinished. Its top note wants to go down a step of one, its bottom, uh, middle note, step of two, and its bottom note goes down by the interval of a third, a major third. So diminished is unfinished. Hopefully that helps you start to hear the sounds of those triads and be able to analyze them in terms of how they want to resolve their tension.